There's a new report right now out about rising sea levels, not just on the east or west coast, but in the south. And it's worse than many scientists thought, putting cities like New Orleans in the bullseye. Here's ABC's Lionel Moyes. A new study warns sea levels are rising in the south, accelerating rapidly since 2010, putting tens of millions in the path of future floods. We haven't uh, seen anything comparable over uh, over the past century. The study's co-author says sea levels along the southeast and Gulf Coast are rising at rates unprecedented in at least 120 years, rising nearly five inches just since 2010. That's about double the average global rate. Sea levels are not only increasing along the coast there, but it extends into the uh, adjacent North Atlantic Ocean and into the Caribbean Sea. Humans in part to blame for the rising sea levels due to greenhouse gases and aerosols. We could um, attribute approximately 40% of the acceleration to uh, man-made climate change, um, but 60% uh, of it is uh, natural climate variability, uh, natural ups and downs that always occur. Researchers say hurricanes have been more severe in recent years due to higher sea levels and storm surge, including Hurricane Michael in 2018. It's been very traumatic. I just, uh, I can't hardly eat and I can't hardly sleep. It's unthinkable. Michael hit Florida's panhandle as a Category 5, and Hurricane Ian last year claimed the lives of more than 100 people in Florida. I don't have a house. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to live. Scientists warn that we need to turn to clean energy, but we also need to adapt to these higher sea levels because they say we may not see the full impact of the changes we make today for generations. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.